very good morning class 12th so as you know the syllabus has been revised and uh, it have many of your chapters have been deducted from the syllabus so as one of the main uh, chapter that is uh, evolution is also deducted from this unit so as uh, you can understand now ki this chapter molecular basis of inheritance will be now principal and molecular basis of inheritance both are going to be very important chapter for you because evolution is me se hata diya gaya hai so now you have to concentrate on these two chapters very very carefully each and every topic of this chapter these two chapters specifically is going to play a very important role for your board exams right so today uh, this is my second lecture on uh, molecular basis of inheritance and uh, uh, today we will talk about that how dna is packed in prokaryotes and as well as eukaryotes as you know dna is a not a just a few nucleotide dna is made up of polymer of nucleotide so it is a long it has a long length so how it is packed how it is packed in our nucleus or it is present in our nucleus that we will see so first uh, thing uh, today i will discuss is one term which is given to us that is central dogma of molecular biology molecular biology is basically the study in which we deal with the molecules right and dna is one of the molecule it is a molecule basis of inheritance because through dna characters traits they are inherited it help to transfer genes from parents to offspring so here is the central dogma central dogma was proposed by francis crick he proposed the central dogma he said that द जेनेटिक इन्फॉर्मेशन मीन्स जो भी पेरेंट्स में हमारे करेक्टर्स हम में ऑफ स्प्रिंग्स में जो भी पेरेंट्स से करेक्टर्स आते हैं और जेनेटिक इन्फॉर्मेशन इट ऑलवेज फ्लोज फ्रॉम डी एन ए राइट दिस मच इज़ क्लियर टू अस दैट जेनेटिक इन्फॉर्मेशन जो फ्लो करती है इट स्टार्ट फ्राम डी एन ए बट ये सिर्फ फ्लो करती है मतलब स्टार्ट कहाँ से होती है डीएनए से बट ये एक्सप्रेस तब तक नहीं हो सकती जब तक इट विल नॉट चेंज इनटू प्रोटीन सो डीएनए फर्स्ट चेंज इनटू एमआरएनए एंड देन चेंज इनटू protein so this whole process the changing of dna to mrna and mrna into protein that is known as central dogma in biology in molecular biology because here we are talking about two molecules that is dna and rna when dna change into mrna the process is known as transcription when from mrna protein has been formed then it is known as translation so this information in uh in case of all the living organism except viruses that is unidirectional hamesha dna se rna banega rna se protein banega so this flow of information is unidirectional exception is bidirectional in case of some viruses jisme rna se again dna ban jata hai and this process is called reverse transcription so they are in this chapter we will read three processes three main processes which are dealing with this molecule that is replication then we will read about transcription and third we will deal about or read about translation as you can see replication dna se dna more copies of dna banna replicate hona dna se dna banna that is replication dna se mrna banna that process is called transcription but in virus if mrna is changing into dna uh, sorry dna that is called reverse transcription mrna then changes finally into protein or express into protein and the process is called translation and that is what we have to read in this chapter replication transcription and translation in complete detail 
if we talk about now our main topic of today that is how this dna is packed if uh, i talk about mammalian cell or human genome the length of human dna is 2.2 meters right that is a uh, length of the dna if it, it is the basically haploid it is haploid length of uh, haploid uh, if we talk about the haploid length of the dna that is in a human genome it is 2.2 meter base pairs which are present in human uh, genome that is about 3 million uh, about 3 million two more base pairs are present and gap between base pairs two base pairs ke beech mein jo gap hota hai that is 3.4 angstrom right so if i say that how this 2.2 meter of dna is packed how it is packed inside our cell so wood dog showed that there are some repeated thickenings in chromatin fibers सबसे पहले तो दिमाग में आपके क्वेश्चन आता है एक वन क्वेश्चन दैट कम्स इन माइंड दैट व्हाट इज क्रोमेटिन फाइबर्स एज यू कैन सी दैट दीज आर दीज थ्रेड लाइक स्ट्रक्चर्स दीज आर कॉल्ड क्रोमेटिन एंड व्हेन दीज क्रोमेटिन दे स्टार्ट कंडेंसिंग और दे स्टार्ट फॉर्मिंग अ ग्रुप दे फॉर्म द फाइबर्स लाइक स्ट्रक्चर दैट इज क्रोमेटिन फाइबर्स ऑन दीज क्रोमेटिन फाइबर्स देयर आर फ्यू बीड लाइक स्ट्रक्चर जैसे मोतियों की माला होती है सपोज दिस इज अ थ्रेड और थ्रेड के ऊपर ये मोती हैं सो सेम दीज काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर्स दे वर ऑब्जर्व ही सेड वुडॉक सेड दैट दीज थिकनिंग दे वर कॉल्ड न्यूक्लियो जोम बट न्यूक्लियो जोम जो टर्म है दैट वॉज गिवन बाई साइंटिस्ट ऑडेड बट वुडॉक सेड देयर आर फ्यू रिपीटेड thickenings on their on these chromatin fibers these are chromatin fibers and on chromatin fibers there are many thickenings like um, jaise mala mein moti hote hain and he calls uh, then audit called them as nucleosome now there is a new word for you that is nucleosome nucleosome is made up of histone octamer plus dna so today we will talk about in complete detail that what is octamer octamer se aapko ye to pata chal gaya hoga ki ye 8 in number hai but what are histones that we will see now so what is nucleosome what is v8 or what is new bodies nucleosome is also known as v8 and it is also known as new bodies roger corin berg he reported that chromosome is made up of jo chromosomes hote hain these are the chromosome he said these these chromosomes they are made up of basically dna iske beech mein kya present hota hai that is dna plus he said that they are made up of proteins so a chromosome is made up of dna and proteins बीडल एंड टैटम देन अनदर टू साइंटिस्ट बीडल एंड टैटम दे सेट दैट क्रोमेटिन फाइबर्स दे लुक लाइक बीड्स ऑन स्ट्रिंग इस थ्रेड को उन्होंने बोला इट इज़ अ स्ट्रिंग लाइक बीड्स जैसे बीड्स होते हैं बेसिकली ये थ्रेड जो था दे आर द क्रोमेटिन फाइबर्स सो दिस एट जैसे स्ट्रिंग पे किसी थ्रेड पे बीड्स होते हैं वैसे ही सेम देयर आर स्ट्रक्चर्स ऑन क्रोमेटिन फाइबर्स विच आर मैनी इन नंबर दे एंड दे एग्जैक्टली लुक लाइक बीड्स ऑन स्ट्रिंग दीज बीड्स दे वर नॉट वन दे वर रिपीटेड यूनिट्स ऑफ प्रोटीन्स दे सेट दीज आर रिपीटेड मैनी नंबर मैनी इन नंबर रिपीटेड यूनिट ऑफ प्रोटीन्स so what so these were later on identified as nucleosome but they said that that is something which they are made up of proteins so now question is coming in your mind that what is nucleosome nucleosome is made up of histone proteins histone proteins kya hoti hain histone proteins basic proteins hoti hain which are rich in lysine and 
आर्जिनिन अमाइनो एसिड और ये दोनों के दोनों अमाइनो एसिड दे आर बेसिक इन नेचर एंड वन मेजर इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग अबाउट दीज प्रोटीन हिस्टोन प्रोटीन इज दैट दे आर पॉजिटिवली चार्ज हमारा डीएनए कौन सा चार्ज है दैट इज नेगेटिवली चार्ज नाउ ऑपोजिट्स अट्रैक्ट ईच अदर सपोज दीज आर द प्रोटीन्स एंड दीज आर पॉजिटिवली चार्ज बाइंडिंग किस में होगी अगर कुछ पॉजिटिव अटैच करोगे कि नेगेटिव वेन समथिंग नेगेटिव कम्स टू इट द बॉन्डिंग विल बी वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग सेम हैपन्स हेयर इन द पैकेजिंग दैट दीज हिस्टोन प्रोटीन्स आर पॉजिटिवली चार्ज डी एन ए इज नेगेटिवली चार्ज सो दैट हिस्टोन प्रोटीन्स आर देयर सो दिस डी एन ए स्टार्ट रैपिंग अराउंड दीज प्रोटीन्स so that is how packaging of dna is done now the second question is how many histone proteins because we are calling it as a octamer so there are four histone proteins main proteins jo ki dna ke through aage jati hain inherit hoti hain that are four histone proteins h2a h2b h3 h4 ye charon do two two in pair mein hoti hain pair in so total number is 2 2 टू 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 सो टू प्लस टू फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट सो दे आर एट इन नंबर सो टोटल नंबर ऑफ प्रोटीन इज एट एंड दैट इज वाई दिस इज नोन एज हिस्टोन ऑक्टमर एज यू कैन सी दैट वन टू थ्री फोर सो वन इज एट द बैक हेयर वन इज एट द बैक वन इज एट द बिहाइन सो दे आर टोटल नंबर इज एट सो दे मेक हिस्टोन octamer now this is how this nucleosome is formed as you can see that there is a h2a first nucleo uh, histone protein h2b second one but they are two in number 1 2 3 4 then 5 6 7 8 so this h3 and h4 so these uh, around these nuclear uh, dna is wrapped in additional there is a h1 pro, uh, histone protein but we don't talk about this because this is not inherited further in the offsprings right the inherited one is h2a h2b h3 h4 in ke around hi sirf dna wrap karta hai now as just follow the blue lines as you can see the main uh, there is a dna which is wrapping around these uh four uh, histone proteins and then there is a one another dna so this dna which is further in length that is linker dna which is wrapping around which is 60 base pair approximately and the center one which is uh, wrapping around the histone proteins uh, uh, directly that is the main core dna which is around 146 base pair so two dna which are wrapping around that is core dna as well as your linker dna these dna together they wrap around the histone proteins so dna is wrapped around the histone proteins agar aapko samjhana ho mujhe in a very easy language what will i say that there are eight balls and we are putting a ribbon a ribbon around it suppose this is uh, eight balls you have and i am telling you that please wrap it very tightly what will you do you will start wrapping it so that it can be tightly packed so same is the structure of dna and nucleosome as i told you that we don't talk about h1 because when dna is inherited h1 does not inherit so nucleosome agar koi kabhi bhi puche aap se what is nucleosome confidently says that it is histone octamer that is made up of eight histone proteins plus it is made up of dna which dna which is wrapping around that is core plus linker dna it usually that main dna the core dna it takes one third three fourth turn one three fourth turn means 1.75 turns around the histone octamer that is very very important question that you should know that 1 3 4 turn around the histone octamer that is taken up by the 
कोर डी एन ए कोर डी एन ए एज यू नो दैट इट टेक्स दिस मच टर्न सो इट दिस डी एन ए अल्टीमेटली इट लुक्स लाइक दिस दैट दिस इज द दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर विच इज सीन इन द मैग्नीफाइड इमेज दैट न्यूक्लियोजोम विद द डी एन ए right there are beads that is why they look like these nucleosome look like beads on string and what is your string here it is the dna so here are few important terms which should be known to you which should be written in your notes because these terms they are important for every point of view whenever somebody ask you you should be confidently able to tell these definitions that um nucleosome what is nucleosome if you have to write in your exam the negatively charged dna molecule wraps around the positively charged proteins agar specifically mention karna hai to you can say histone proteins to form a structure which is called nucleosome so negatively charged dna wrap around the positively charged proteins and form a structure which is called nucleosome what is a chromatin many times two terms are there what is one when is chromatin and another one is chromatin fibers right so repeating units of nucleosome they form chromatin these thread like structure which is a thread like structure present in a nucleus so these thread like structures they are known as chromatin and nucleosome in chromatin they appear as beads on string so these are thread like structures and these thread like structures they are chromatin and how does a nucleosome appear it like a moti like beads beads on string so here is a question time for you that how many beads or nucleosomes you can imagine that these are present in a mammalian cell because here we all talked about the this whole packaging was about this was in the eukaryotic cell right so if i ask you that how many how many nucleosomes or beads you can imagine that present in a mammalian cell if we talk about a diploid uh, human cell they are having 6.6 into 10 raised to power 9 base pairs and 6.6 into 10 raised to power 9 base pair human cell contains approximately 30 million nuclei because uh, in your ncert they ask that theoretically tell that how many beads or nucleosome are present so approximately 30 million uh, 30 million these nucleosomes or beads what are after chromatin chromatin is a like these thread like structures so what is then chromatin fibers now these uh thread like structure they are present in uh, observed in chromatin now they are strongly packed uh, they are now condensing they are condensing like this they condense means they group together and they get more and more uh, condensed so package to form when chromatin more get coiled more get condensed that form chromatin fibers and chromatin fibers again coiled and condensed and finally form the chromosome so we have three terms chromatin chromatin fibers and finally the chromosomes only thread like structures they are chromatin little bit groupism when it starts that is chromatin fibers and ultimately the uh, chromosomes chromosomes are rod shaped structures so at higher level even if the packaging is obtain uh, have to occur at little more higher level then sometimes again more proteins are required additional proteins are required those are the non histone chromosomal proteins these are the non histone chromosomal 
proteins are also sometimes needed with the histone for the packaging of dna if i talk about prokaryotic cell if i talk about prokaryotic cell then in e coli or bacteria the prokaryotic cell uh, if we talk about the there is a irregular as you can see there is a irregular shaped area which contains complete genetic material so in this area the dna is held with the proteins here dna is present with the proteins and this area irregular area is known as nucleoid so if somebody asks you that what about these dna and proteins where uh, they are um, present in the prokaryotic cell they are present in the nucleoid because they do not have a well defined nucleus so this area or the irregular portion is known as nucleoid in case of prokaryotic cell now there are few questions which are mentioned in your ncrt that uh, what is the distance between two base pairs uh, so we we know that distance between two base pair is 3.4 angstrom uh, if we convert it into nanometer that is the 0.34 and in meter it will be 0.34 into 10 to the power 9 now the question asked is can you calculate length of dna answer is yes there is a formula that you can multiply the total number of base pairs with distance between two base pairs so total number of base pairs uh, how much are present in the mammalian cell or human cell 6.6 into 10 to the power 9 base pair and what is the distance that is 0.34 into 10 to the power 9 meter per base pair so how much is the length it is approximately 2.2 meters so that is the one way to calculate the length of the dna now there is the second question is given there that if length of e coli dna is 1.36 mm can you calculate the number of base pair see one thing which is first always write what is given to you length of the dna is given to you that is 1.36 mm now you know that uh, what is the uh, distance or gap between two bases that is 0.34 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter what do we have to calculate how many base pairs are present in so number of base pairs will be equal to total length divided by length between two base pairs what is the total length given to you 1.36 mm so if i have to calculate into meter 1.36 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter what is the distance gap between two base pairs kitna hota hai 0.34 into 10 to the power minus 9 so your answer will come out to be that is agar aap calculate karoge the answer which coming out is 4 into 10 to the power 6 base pairs so these kind of questions they usually come in the exams so you should be very clear the if you know the gap if you know the total like here you should know the mammalian cells mein kitne base pair hote hain you will be able to uh, answer these questions in uh, uh, my next video i am going to talk about few experiments about dna that how dna is a genetic material as well as we are going to talk about other two things uh, that is the euchromatin and heterochromatin till then please go through the uh, this video very carefully i hope this is going to uh, this lecture will uh, be helpful to you for your molecular basis of inheritance so i will meet you in my next lecture